This circus building lies in the heart of the Russian city of Kursk. Once a source of laughter and entertainment, now a source of comfort for the weary and dispossessed. Every day, nearly 1,000 Russians who've been forced from their homes come here to get basic necessities. Lubov is one of the nearly 120,000 people who have been displaced. They made a sudden attack. They attacked Suja at 3 a.m. They started shooting people. How is this possible? All the world say that it's Russia to blame. What is Russia guilty of? Does Russia not have a right to live, and they do? Why is this like this? We arrived from Glushkovo. We've been staying here for a week with my son. We left behind our house and all our life. I would not like anyone to live through what we have lived through. I want peace as soon as possible and for this horror to end. Since Ukrainian forces launched their incursion into Russia on August the 6th, officials in Kiev claim they have captured over 90 settlements in the Kursk region, a number disputed by the Kremlin. Officials in Ukraine say the aim is to set up a buffer zone to protect the country and get more leverage in any future negotiations, something Russia says is out of the question now. The government has allocated $30 million to the Kursk region, but local people are also pitching in. These clothes have all been donated by people hoping they can help their neighbors in need. Medical staff say dozens of civilians have been killed as Ukrainian forces push further into Russian territory. The front lines of the fighting are about 90 kilometers from here. But the effects are already being felt, and that's likely to continue for generations to come. Dorso Jabari, Al Jazeera, Kursk, Russia. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.